welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Okay, this reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. We're moving on from Aries now, but we're going to skip over Taurus because I did Taurus last night. And we're going to go to Gemini. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Gemini tonight? Gemini, your energy's looking good, baby. Look at there. Way to go, Gemini. Alright, how you guys been doing? Some of you might have been having a rough time lately. And happy birthday too by the way if it's your birthday this week and if it's your birthday at all this month I said it at the beginning of the month but I forgot to say it the other day all right spirit how do you want to go forward for Gemini let's see what comes out of these cards for you tonight Gemini let me move this camera up a little bit I feel like it's okay all right so how are you working in Gemini's life Can you show me? I still don't like the angle of that camera. There we go. There we go. I want you to be able to see the table, the water, the candle. <laughs> Dang. Gemini, what's up with this energy? Come on now. Focus. That works. Contentment. Awesome. Service and obedience. That's kind of what we had this morning. And then forgiveness. Those are like the, the theme right now that a lot of us are going through. Contentment is a new one. Service is one we've seen already. Obedience is one we've been seeing. And forgiveness. Awesome. That's going to factor in. Spirit, help us to make sense of this message for Gemini. Right, let's see what the Tarot is doing for you guys tonight. Spirit, how is the Tarot energy for the sign of Gemini. What's going on with my Geminis? Can you give us an absolutely mind-blowing reading? Gemini, this turned over in the deck and I don't even know how. The death card, you're going through a transformation, baby. A transformation. Intemperance. Are you dealing with a Sagittarius, sweetheart? Or do they have it in their chart? Or do you? So, right now, it looks like you have been quarreling with the twins a little. <laughs> or with the twin. There's a snake. Two snakes. Somebody might be into snakes. There could have actually been some physical fighting going on. Like, it looks like somebody grabbed somebody by the back of the head and by the arm. If you're doing that, please do not put your hands on anybody. And do not let anybody put their hands on you either. There could be a racial difference. One of you is more awake than the other. But you're both awake, it looks like. Eagles are standing out to me here. Somebody's got something going on with their left ear. And I'm having chest pains all of a sudden. So if you're having chest pains for any reason, please get that checked out. And I'm sending you a lot of love and healing energy. And somebody bites their fingernails. Somebody has headaches. Maybe migraine headaches. Somebody grinds their teeth at night when they're sleeping. Somebody plays music. Feathers are significant somehow. Somebody just got their nails done and they look really good. Okay. I see an eagle with a heart on its back. Like maybe you have a tattoo of an eagle somewhere on your body. I'm hearing the name Pearly, Pearly, like a pearl necklace, but Pearly. And I'm hearing the name Joe. 
What else, Spirit? Anything else? Dominic? All right. Let's get ready to go here. Let's see how the angels are working in your love life, Gemini, shall we? All right. Which angel cards do you want to use, Spirit? Spirit says use these. How are you working in Gemini's love life, Spirit? Spirit, yeah, how are the angels? Archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, anybody who wants to help me, please come and help me. Adoration. Somebody is being adored. You're, somebody is being adored. Alright. How are you working in Gemini's spiritual life, spirit? Faith. Spirit is giving you faith. This might be something you've been fighting for a long time, Gemini. That might be what this fight up here is, is faith. This might be about you, Gemini. Alright, how are you working in Gemini's financial life? Okay, healing and knowledge. So somehow you're becoming aware of something in your financial life that needs healing. And for some of you, this could actually be that you're finding out that you need to take a break from work because you need a surgery or a procedure done. Or maybe your child needs something done or your child is struggling with some kind of illness. Some, somebody has a child who has special needs. Or has had one in the past in your family. And this person was indeed like an angel. If they're still in your life. They are like an angel. They are an angel. Alright. And on the bottom of the deck is Grace, Gemini. Alrighty then. Spirit, how do you want to proceed? <laughs> like somebody is really into somebody else but the other person is like you trying to kiss me what 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 uh-uh no you're not gonna kiss me uh-huh hmm somebody is into wrestling like this is a sport that you might do professionally or in school For some reason, I feel that somebody is in basketball or has been in basketball. The color red is standing out to me. The color blue is standing out to me. Alright, so let's see what else Spirit wants to say to you, Gemini. Spirit, how do you want to... Let's talk about adoration. What's this adoration about, Spirit? Can you clarify adoration from this tarot deck, please? What's going on with adoration in the sign of Gemini? My back is itching, Gemini. Sometimes that means that you're in a situation where somebody is scratching the other's back. Like, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Like, it's itching off the chain, too. Like, maybe somebody didn't scratch yours but when it was their turn. <clears throat> Four of Cups in reverse. So, there's somebody in your life that... Wasn't trying to hear your love, like over here. But that's changing, because you're starting to adore this person, or maybe they're starting to adore you. Clarify who this might be and what's going on with this Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups, please. Balloon, somebody had a birthday. Happy birthday! You might have had a birthday party. Oh, baby. Uh-uh. Gemini. I can't even lie about this. Look at the, let me see. Oh, baby, the Knight of Pentacles. The Emperor came out, y'all. Somebody who hasn't been taking love is about to start taking love. And either, it either is the Emperor or they, this Emperor is about to get love. Either give it 
or get it and it's not been something that's been possible in the past let's find out why it wasn't possible why didn't they adore this person in the past spirit they might play chess or some other board game or on a phone they might play a game on their they like that phone now but they got their ch uh huh Gemini, you're looking sharp too. Uh, you look like you a pimp, baby. <laughs> you're styling and profiling. Somebody likes Star Wars too. Okay, Spirit. Why wouldn't they take this cup before? What was the problem in the past? Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Okay, the Knight of Cups came out. So, Gemini, whoever this emperor is, there was a there was a Knight of Cups in the past. They they were in hangman mode. <clears throat> this person may have hurt you deeply or you may have hurt them or it looks like it might have been a two-way street here somebody hurt somebody pretty bad there was a significant hurt here that caused this person to feel like they were not ready to move into love again let's see what this bonus card is but there's the world and it's sideways so somebody's about to end this cycle of behavior where they don't they they build up walls probably because they're afraid to love if this was the person that you're moving towards this could definitely be same sex if you're not in a relationship this could be a father and a son and you guys have some some problems in your relationship growing up Maybe when you were a younger man. This man right here can be a playboy. He doesn't want to commit to anybody because he's always worried about what he might miss if he does. And somehow he broke somebody's heart. And there's roses here. There's also a knife. There could have been some violence involved in this breakup. Somebody could have definitely gotten hurt. And somebody did indeed get hurt emotionally. Alright, so why do they want to take the cup now? What makes them want to take the cup? The Knight of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. Why do they want to take the cup now? Okay. Well, I'll say this. There's no love showing up here anywhere. Can I just tell you the truth about what's going on here? Without anybody getting their feelings hurt? Something that somebody is passionate about. This is kind of like a passion, like a new, something new that might make things more equal or <laughs> this card to me, okay, see how one person has, has hearts coming out of their box and one person has pinnacles. I'm going to tell you what's going on here. One of these people are in love. They might, you might love the way their breasts look. One of these people are probably in love but suspicious. Like, they love you. They probably love you unconditionally. But they're suspicious because they're giving love. Their box has love in it. The other person's box has pinnacles. Which could represent something else besides love that they want like they want something from this person real freaking bad which would indicate to me that it's either money or drugs 
I'm just telling you what I see here. And it was in reverse. The Maypole, you might live in a country where they celebrate Maypoles. You might love to go to outdoor concerts. You might be from the Middle East and wear um, a garb on your head or whatever they call that head covering. I know there's a name for it, and I hear y'all trying to tell me, but I, got, I can't concentrate on that right now. Blue and green are standing out here. Pink, purple, wildflowers. Like, this could be marijuana, or it could be pain pills, or it could be cocaine. I mean, but, like, nowadays, it would probably be, like, pain pills or marijuana or whatever. But it could also be... It could also be... I mean, I have seen this represent a child. Like, passing a child back and forth. So take it as it resonates. But there's something being passed back and forth here that this person wants real bad and all of a sudden they adore you. Show me their true feelings for this person's spirit. Show me their true feelings. Oh, shit. Here we go, Gemini. Can you show me their true feelings? You remember I told you my back needed scratching. Somebody didn't scratch the other person's back like they were supposed to. Their true feelings are they want to move. They want to move. They might want to physically move to another address. They might just want the keys to your house. Somebody has a dog that's very special to them. A very old elderly dog. Maybe a chihuahua. And it may have had problems with its hind legs. It could have gotten hit by a car, bless its heart. In a black lab. Somebody has a denim dress with a belt. Black curly hair. <laughs> this person might just want the keys to your house. Oh, yeah. Why is the... Or they just might want to live with you and like crash on your couch i don't know i don't see any love here though clarify the chariot they might want to borrow your car gemini they might not have a vehicle and they're all the time asking you for a ride okay so the the high priestess came out on the table oh and the nine of swords Somebody's eating a type of fruit. <clears throat> this person knows what's going on. Now, whether they're telling you they know or not, they know. They know that they're being BS'd. This person is not unaware of what is going on here. Even but the fact that it came out on the floor makes me think that they might be pretending that they are. They're pretending like they're just buying into all this. They're not in denial. They're not. The six of cups in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse spirit with the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords? Somebody's been through a bunch of shit with this person. Or with somebody. And they are High Priestess. Or you are. Clarify the Six. Oh, baby. That's what I thought. Somebody's over this. Like, they are completely over this. <laughs> They're over it. The Six of Cups is about thinking back. When it's in reverse, you're only thinking forward. Like, you ain't worried about the past anymore. None of that lovey-dovey, warm and fuzzy does it for you at this point. And then the Magician came out. The Magician and the High Priestess, y'all. This person 
is not going to stick around for this kind of behavior. They might drink wine, be into witchcraft. You might be a witch. You might, somebody might be banging. I don't know what to say here. <laughs> All right, so where are they manifesting to, Spirit? What's this manifestation here with the high priestess? Can you show you what they're manifesting? This is some powerful energy, Gemini. What is being manifested? I think this person is really over this. Like, they don't even want to think about it anymore. And there could be a child involved. A little boy, maybe. Somebody might... Um, pirates might be significant to you in some way. Why is this little boy in reverse, Spirit? Or why is this Page of Swords here? That's also a spy card. Like, this person ain't even looking at your social media. They're not trying to call you. They might not even be answering your text messages. What is going on here? Why is the Page of Swords here? They're not even friends with you anymore. <laughs> It's got to do with this partying, man. They're fed up. They're tired of it. They're tired of it. They want to. They want to be free from this bull crap. Like this can only go on for so long. All right. <clears throat> Why is um? What's gonna happen in this relationship, spirit? What might be the outcome of this relationship? I haven't seen the Empress yet, only the High Priestess. The Nine of Pentacles came out in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> because your fire sign is on the floor. Why is this fire sign here with um, the no independence? You might have a you might have a fire sign that's a little codependent. Why is this here? I I get the feeling that this may or may not be this high priestess. Clarify who this is and why do they not have any independence? Damn, I was not trying to see that. There's the devil. Because they know that this is bullshit. And that you have other choices. Like this person knows you have other people that you're talking to and that you're thinking about. Or roll, reverse the roles if you need to. And that there's the devil causing deception. And they're just plain old sick of it. There's, there's a huge truth coming out. There's a huge truth coming out. Like there's a truth that's hidden somebody's reality big time right now what are they planning on doing about it spirit <laughs> they planning on making their dreams come true how do they plan on doing that how are their dreams gonna come true oh lord right on the floor y'all Because they ain't looking for an opportunity for this new start. Somebody is not even looking for an opportunity to talk about this. Somebody has their nails painted white. Somebody loves gardenia. Somebody's eating chocolate. Yum. Somebody has the cutest little doggy. You might have like an ornament in your house with stones in it with the waterfall. And beautiful artwork on the walls. 
I don't think this person, there's another kid too. There might be, there might be children involved here. But I honestly don't think this person is even trying to go there. Like, they are like, I'm good, I'm good. I got this on my own. You ain't trying to kiss me. <laughs> Look, then happiness on the bottom of the deck. Clarify why they don't want this opportunity, Spirit, besides the drugs. Have they got anybody else? Does this person have anybody else, Spirit? Does anybody in this situation have somebody else? Does Gemini have somebody else besides this fire sign? Does Gemini have somebody else besides this fire sign? Oh, baby, there's a tower, Gemini. Prepare yourself. What about this tower spirit? You might have a beard and sandy brown hair. He loves thunder and lightning. Why is the tower here spirit? Spirit said pick all the cards back up. All of them except the tower. Hmm. The Empress and the Lovers, Gemini. The Empress and the Lovers. That's where I cut the deck out. The Lovers and the Wheel, Gemini. One more time, Spirit says. The Lovers and the Spy card, Gemini. Alright, Spirit, can you please clarify the tower? The tower is about <laughs> the Ace of Wands in reverse. So you didn't know that, huh? Okay, then. Clarify the Ace of Wands again. The Knight of Pentacles, huh? So, the reason why they're not excited anymore about this new start with you is because there's the Knight of Pentacles here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Or well, the reason why you're not excited about this new start with them take it as it resonates why is the knight of pentacles here where is the knight of pentacles headed can you show me where they're headed spirit in this deck the knight of pentacles looks like a woman so it might be a same sex or you might okay wow this is crazy Okay, because this person didn't want anything to do with this situation. Somebody else is moving slow and steady towards you. And it looks like you're in a situation that's like prison. You might actually be in prison. Somebody's moving slow towards you. And being non-judgmental about all of what's going on. Why are they doing this, Spirit? So, in this case, there was a tower that caused somebody else. There, there's horses here. You might ride a bicycle. This person is very natural, very down-to-earth, very grounded person. And they're stable. They're slow now. They're moving slow, not because they don't trust. They trust very deeply. But because they're more concerned about themselves than they are about pleasing others. They give themselves the respect that they deserve. This person right here is not going to be passing stuff back and forth. 
And for some reason, they're coming towards you in a very difficult situation that feels to you like you're in prison. Why are they coming towards Gemini without judgment? It looks like Spirit's trying to heal something from the past. Yep. It looks like it might be somebody that you hurt in the past or that hurt you in the past. There could have been a death. You have a lot of memories, but they're not all good memories. And it looks like this person might be traveling to see you. They might be coming to see you. Why are they coming to see Gemini? Or you might be going to see them. They might actually be in jail. Why are, why are they going to see Gemini? Can you show me? It could be about a child. It could be about a little girl. Or it could just be because they're excited to see you. They might just be excited to see you. That's what it looks like to me. They, there's either a child or it might be a child, but they're excited to see you. This person is excited to see you. Why are they so excited to see Gemini? Can you show me why this person is so excited? They're trying to move past the fighting that's been going on with somebody. Who have they been fighting with? Ooh. Justice. They were fighting with this truth. And maybe with this legal situation. I just got really hot. They've been fighting their own, like, feelings and thoughts. Somebody's fighting their feelings and thoughts about this relationship. What might be the outcome of this relationship with this Knight of Pentacles? Oh, baby. <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> the Empress and the Ten of Cups, y'all. This is definitely a twin flame. <laughs> and this person loves you unconditionally, Gemini. Or you are the Empress and you love them unconditionally. <laughs> they might be that fire sign that knew about passing stuff back and forth. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Alright, so let's pick them up again and see how spirits working in your home life. <laughs> Gemini. I mean, in your face. Did I really just snort? Damn it, boy. There's the fool. Your faith is about to be renewed, Gemini. Wow. You're going to have a two of cups? What in the world? I am so hot right now. I feel like my body is on fire since I touched that in person. <laughs> Holy cow, I need a fan. I need some ice in my britches. Oh my god. Spirit, how are you working in Gemini's face? Oh Jesus, help me. How are you working in Gemini's face? Oh, Gemini. A cup in your face. Like, Spirit is saying, you're about to have a brand new love with him. Her, it, she, they. 
hot, 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 hot stuff, y'all. Gemini's got some hot stuff going on in their face. I think you're, I think you're gonna, I think what Spirit's saying, well, let me hold up here. I think what Spirit's saying is that this is gonna be the one that turns your shit around. <laughs> this Knight of Pentacles. Like, I think this might be your cup, dude. I think this might be your cup that restores your faith in love. Clarify that to be true, Spirit. I got the Knight of Wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Like, this might be the one that makes you realize that there is true love in the world. Clarify the, the um, Ace of Cups, please. Clarify the Ace of Cups. The ocean might be significant. God, I'm hot, Gemini. Y'all got me tricky. I mean, whoo. Y'all got to get away from me. Yeah. Oh, shit. Somebody heard about some cheating that happened. Yep, I think that's it. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? Somebody was rushing in too fast and to clarify the Two of Cups in reverse. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? Yep. <clears throat> Somebody was at a stalemate. This relationship might be from a past person or it might be your twin flame. And in the past, things moved too fast. And it was like, nope. Back the hell up. You're freaking me out with all your text messages. And then you just looked at each other's social media instead. <laughs> How else are you working in Gemini's faith? If not, then this might be, I mean, that's, that's the way the reading went. Damn, Gemini. I don't even know what to say. It's like, over here, you heard what was said, but now over here, it's like there's a new person... And when I say clarify that, you moved too fast and you might have been cheating. You moved too fast and you were cheating. But this is how spirit's working in your faith. And because you moved too fast and you were cheating. I'm sweating so bad, y'all. It ended up in a nine, a, nine, a nine of wands type situation where everybody was stressed the hell out. Why is the three of swords in reverse though? Because that would indicate a healing of a broken heart. Your heart... Is, is is healing now, I think, from this. And then this is about to be over. Clarify why the world is in reverse. This, this reading is a little confusing now. <laughs> like it's got a different energy to it. I'm trying to... Okay, hold up, hold up. All right. <clears throat> Maybe this is about your faith in you, what, whoever, whatever you believe in. And you've tried it before. But it just didn't work for you. It was like boring. And it never helped. Like it didn't really help. To help you with the things that you needed help with in life. So what's going to happen now spirit? Clarify what you're saying here, because I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. These came out separate.
You've been fighting your faith. You seriously have been fighting your faith and trying to do this on your own and in your own strength. And Spirit is trying to show you unconditional love through this other person. This other person, this Knight of Pentacles, and this unconditional love that they're showing you, even through all this bullshit that you're doing over here, passing stuff back and forth with this other person, this person is showing you grace, which is what we see here on the bottom of the deck. This person is putting up with you through a lot of heavy stuff because they are very spiritually strong. Can you show me why this person is doing this for Gemini? Can you show me why this person is doing this for Gemini? <laughs> Why is this person, or why is Gemini doing this for somebody else? Yeah, okay. Oh, look, y'all. Because <laughs> they want to. Simply because they want to and because they can. They have no other motives. They just want to help you. This could be a friend. This is a friend that wants to help you financially. This could be a friend who just simply wants to see your life improve and show you unconditional love. Okay? Clarify how you're working in Gemini's um, finances. What's going on with this healing and knowledge? You might be having some health problems, like I said. Oh, baby. This person who's helping you is about to have an opportunity that's going to turn them into a freaking queen of pinnacles, y'all. This person is struggling and helping you at the same time and Spirit's fixing to bless them for it. Do you see that? Holy cow! Spirit, wow! <laughs> Dang, boy. I mean, I don't want to complicate this, Gemini. It is what it is. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Perhaps there's somebody in your life that you need to stop taking that cup from. Or maybe you need to take it. Let's find out. Clarify what you're saying here with this Four of Cups. Because the Four of Cups is typically about somebody who... They're not enjoying themselves. They're just there and they really don't want to be there. Clarify what you're saying. Who's doing this and why? Somebody's planning something. What are they planning? They might be looking for an opportunity for somewhere to live. This this person is literally looking for an opportunity of somewhere to live. This other person, they just want to use you, it looks like. Clarify that to be true. <clears throat> That's my your right card. Victory. Whenever I get that card by itself. It's saying, bingo, bingo. Look, in the deal, on the bottom of the deck. This person over here is bad news. Bad news. Clarify that to be true. Spirit is saying, stop. Spirit is, oh, spirit. This is probably the reason why you ended up in this prison that this other person is bailing you out of. And this person is going to be excited to help you and to see you. Alright, Spirit. What would you say out of this deck right here? I 
That's a good hearted person right there, Gemini. Conclusion came out, y'all, but I'm putting it back because a lot came out. Can I please get good, strong energy for the sign of Gemini from this Twin Flame deck spirit? Oh, y'all got a lot of stuff going on, Gemini. The Twin Flame deck is off the chazam! <laughs> that was strong energy, but can I get one at a time, please? Somebody's thinking about you. They might have a heart-shaped pendulum. Long fingernails. Somebody is like white-knuckling it. Somebody's mama's praying. Somebody is praying hard. Something's going to happen in the summer. Something's going to be received. Somebody is very creative. And the answer for somebody was no. Why was the answer no? Hopefully for this other person. Something wasn't received that was supposed to be received. Somebody's having some signs and some fears. Somebody said no because they were seeing signs that this was a bad idea. So they backed out. And they said no, I'm not going to I'm not going to keep passing stuff back and forth to you. I'm not going to give you the key to my apartment. You don't really care about me. Somebody received some signs and realized because they are very, very gifted <laughs> spiritually that they needed to back away from this. Or you need to realize that. Take it as it resonates. What else, Spirit? Twin flame. I knew it was a twin flame. What else, spirit? The cycles and understanding. And that's what we see. But why haven't we gotten clarified temperance, please? Somebody's been real patient about this healing that needed to take place. There was some healing that needed to happen. And somebody's been real patient with somebody else through this healing process. What else, Spirit? Because temperance hasn't come out. Look who flew out, y'all. The Emperor. <laughs> temperance is right here. Okay. It looks like this Emperor is ready to... It could be an Aries, but it's also Sagittarius here. It might be an Air, a Sagittarius with an Aries placement. This person is ready to finally put this to rest. All of this sadness and hurt. They're finally ready to put it to rest. And they have been very, very patient. There's their wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. And I don't know why it's in reverse. Why is their wish fulfillment in reverse? Is this wish fulfillment in reverse, Spirit? Why is this wish fulfillment in reverse? Oh my God. Why is this here? There's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's in reverse. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right here. Gemini, this could be you or if you're a male or if you're whatever. You might have an air sign in your life and there's 
This person is not talking to this person. Why are they not talking to this person, Spirit? Because <laughs> it's making somebody else's dreams come true. <laughs> Y'all, I can't make this up, but there's deception. Why is deception on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> because this other person that they're not talking to, they're not finished with them yet. <laughs> but this person right here that's so excited to see you, that's helping you, knows that. They're not dumb. They know that. They don't, they don't even think they expect anything out of you. They're trying to show you unconditional love. They're trying to be a friend. So all these games that are being played right here, that's only hurting the person playing them. The person that's being respectful and trying to help has already done the spiritual work. You feel me? Okay. This candle right here, I wish you could see the flame on it right now. It is literally about that high. And I'm not even exaggerating. Alright, what would you say out of this deck? You still, okay. Listen, listen. You still don't fucking get it. Just listen, just listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> You like to explain things, Gemini? Shut the fuck up. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Still love you, XOXO. And go solo. Alone time equals happier together. And I think that this is somebody you haven't seen in a while, but they're going to step up and help you for God only knows what reason. Forgive. Maybe that's the reason. Not for them. Do that shit for you. Don't forget the signs you saw and all the fear you had over here when you think about going back to this other person. Or it might be that your person has another person. Thank you, Spirit. It isn't personal. Shit's not always about you. Somebody's been fighting a lot. And your friends miss your face. They need you. You need them. And I think one of them's com coming to see you. Open your mouth. Talk. Use big words like validate, acknowledge, and empathize. And then, oh my God, sit back and relax. <laughs> Oral love is in your future. <laughs> I hope that's this kiss over here. <laughs> Y'all are a hot mess, let me tell you. Alright, let's get you some answers to questions that you might have. You got any questions you want to ask? I'll tell you what, while you're getting your questions together, I'll see what comes out of this deck right here. Since Twin Flame came out, and this is my Twin Flame deck. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. I've thought a lot about you lately. I guess so. This person's helping you. <laughs> Hopefully you are thanking them constantly. Being apart has been life changing for me. I got spooked. I can still feel you. And seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. And then I can't handle your words right now. I think that might be the other person still trying to come through on the bottom of the deck. Alright, you got any questions you want to ask? Alright, first question. Spirit, what's the answer to the question for the sign of Gemini? Whoa, not the right time was turned over, y'all. Within the next few weeks, Communicate clearly. Yay! Awesome! Alright, next question. 
within the next few weeks forgiveness one more question ready whoa take action be assertive all right one more time somebody forgot that we were doing questions maybe or maybe you just had extra there we go communicate clearly and sometimes when it says that there's something better sometimes when it says communicate clearly what I've noticed is you need to rephrase the question because these cards only give a certain number of answers and they're like timing or you've seen most of what they give rephrase your question okay ready whoa the answer is no there you go and take action okay okay all right one more and that's gonna be it <laughs> somebody's got a list of questions i can see them you ready you can always uh, abundance came out with yes and but unlikely so I don't know what that's all about. Somebody somebody might be yes in abundance and the other person might be unlikely. Maybe ask two different kinds of questions. Alright, you can always reach out and I'll help you any way I can. Anytime I can. Alright, thank you please, Spirit, for the sign of Gemini. Alright, I have a big, 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 big elephant. I have a huge piece of black tourmaline. And if you don't know what this is, it's a crystal that is very good for protection and grounding and if you keep it on your person like I keep it in my bra that's what you see that looks like I got big nipples it's actually my crystals uh, spirit okay I have a fancy heart I have a hand it's a big hand too for intuition maybe you have a big intuition I have another elephant Another elephant, a sea turtle, a big sea turtle. I have a crown. Maybe you live in England or maybe you drink crown or however that crown resonates with you. I have an infinity sign. It can definitely be about royalty. I have two palm trees. I have a butterfly. I have a mouse. I have a dolphin. I have a pegasus. I have a Mustang. I have a key. I have a horseshoe with a four leaf clover. I have a tree of life. I have a daisy. Maybe your name is Daisy. Maybe you have a dog named Daisy. I have the word love. I have a Susan B. Anthony thing. Maybe you have, um, Maybe you collect silver dollars or somebody you know did. And then I have a really fancy heart. Alright, trinkets from the southern bowl to the Holy Spirit. Alright, I have that metalhead gear. I have the sign of the Star of David. Hello, David. I have a sailboat. I have she believed she could, so she did. Strong is beautiful. There's that arrow for that Sagittarian. I know you Gemini's be having Sagittarians and Aquariuses and a lot of other signs, but those are the the twin flames are usually the Sagittarians. Honestly, they are. And then I have a skull. I have live your dream. I have no matter where. I have I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven and love and be loved and then i have an angel and i think the reason is because they're so much different that it's the only way we could ever learn our lessons is to deal with our complete opposite and i know in my case our birthdays are like one day apart but with the hour differentiation they're like exactly six months apart all right 
the ones that fell in the lid are hope and dream and then I have love I have blessed passion and I certainly felt that I have faith believe and joy and maybe your name is faith maybe your name is joy maybe your name is hope maybe you just have faith hope and joy and love all right and you definitely have my love i have mad love for all my gemini's i hope that you will leave me a comment and let me know if this video resonated with you until next time have a blessed and wonderful day bye bye